Here's an easy way to create a free website for your podcast. Head over to freepodcastwebsites.com, click on the sign up link, and then here in this field, you just search for your show. If you can't find your podcast, head over to your podcast hosting provider, find your RSS feed, copy it, and paste it back into this field here. Then click continue. It's going to ask you to send a verification email. Do that and then head over to your inbox. There's that verification code. Paste that in and now you can create your account. And as soon as you enter your account, your website's live. It's pulled in all of your podcast information and generated a fully functional podcast website. So when you look at it for the first time, all of your episodes are there and you can even play your episodes with this player. All my artwork is here. I click through on the episode and it has all my show notes. And there's all sorts of things I can add to the website. Under distribution, I can paste in my Apple Podcasts URL. Go to the bottom, click save. And if I head back to the website and I refresh, it will automatically link to Apple Podcasts. And it will find any other podcast player that uses that Apple ID. When I'm promoting my podcast, I'll usually share the subscribe page because it allows people to click on the player they use and add the podcast on their phone. Over here in the social menu, you can add your social media accounts. These will appear in the footer of every page and you can even add additional pages if you'd like. So I can head over here, add an about page, paste in my content as HTML, and then add a link in the main menu or even at the bottom if I want to. Let's take a look at that. And here's the page. I can add as many of these pages as I'd like, and I can even add menu items that link out to external pages. So in this case, I've linked to my Patreon, which will now appear as a menu item in the footer of each page. For a basic website builder, there's actually a lot of customizations you can make. For example, I can change all of these colors to match my brand. And there's multiple themes to choose from. If you've already registered a custom domain for your podcast website, you can use that too. You just enter it here, head over to your registrar, update your DNS settings, which will allow you to connect your custom domain to your free website. There are also language settings. So if your podcast is in French, this will display all the menu items, labels, etc., in French. Having a website for your podcast is so important for marketing, especially if you want people to be able to find it on Google. It's also a great way for listeners to find and share individual episodes with their friends. If you want to generate a website for your podcast for free, head over to freepodcastwebsites.com.